Hey, this is Lewis from Breakdance, and in this video, I want to show you how to use Element Studio to save elements into your own plugin, commit those elements to GitHub, and ultimately distribute your elements to end users. So to open up Element Studio, you go to the dot 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 menu and click Element Studio. And you'll notice that if you make a new element and you type in, you know, the name of your element, you can't actually create an element by default because Breakdance doesn't know where to save the element. So you need to create a plugin that provides a save location. Now this is very easy to do um, and I will show you how to do it right now. So you're going to click this link right here and that's going to open up our documentation and somewhere on this page you'll find a link to our boilerplate custom elements plugin. So you're going to want to go to this repository and either just download it and fork it. So I am going to fork it. Um, I will call this uh, element studio demo video plugin and create fork. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to download this plugin and put it in my plugins folder in my installation. So what I'm going to do is in GitHub, I'm just going to go to here and I'm going to copy and paste the command to download the repository. If you have other ways you want to do this, you're welcome to use those ways. You obviously don't have to use GitHub at all. Uh, this is just what I'm using. And I'm going to go to, I have local by Flywheel installed, so I'm just going to click this to... Um, go to a shell with my site and I'll go into WP content uh, and then into plugins and then I'm just going to paste that command to download the breakdance elements plugin repository um, and now I'm just going to open VS code in that folder so let's go into element studio demo video plugin and I will open VS code in that folder and yes I trust the authors let's go into plugin.php and I'm just going to call this Lewis elements and the URL, we'll just leave it as is. I'll leave all the other stuff as is. And that's all you need to do. You now have your own Elements plugin. Now let's go into the WordPress admin panel on our website and activate that plugin. So let's exit to WordPress and we will go to Plugins and activate Lewis Elements. And now when we create Elements in Element Studio, they'll be saved in this plugin. So let's go to Pages and just open up any page in Breakdance so we can open up Element Studio. And let's go to Element Studio and let's make a new element. I'll call this my demo element. And we've now created the element. Now if we go it back into VS Code, into the GitHub, you'll see that it has created files in our Elements plugin for this new element. We commit that to Git. I could say my demo element create and uh, whoops, got to stage all my changes. Let's commit that and send that off to GitHub. And now let's take a look on GitHub and we'll see that I have committed my demo element um, and here are the files for my demo element. Now let's go ahead and add some controls to the demo element. My section, another section, let's add a text field. Let's add a uh, typography field. Let's add some design controls. Let's add a color picker and a unit input. And let's add this element to the page. And here you can see our element with our controls. Um, let's go ahead and now save this. And now you'll see that it's changed. It's added controls to the element uh, that we've added to Element Studio. Let's commit those to GitHub add some controls and let's send those off to github and uh, let's go back here and there you go we can see our commit we can see our controls in github 